In today's video, I'm going to take a look at how to build a stand for a vintage ProBot. Uh, I picked up quite a few of these ProBots uh, to add to my Imperial Army. Uh, you see them very briefly in the background of the Hangar Bay or in uh, Return of the Jedi. Uh, so they, I thought I'd you know, add a few uh, to the Imperial Army just to make it look good. Uh, you can pick these up quite easily. They, they come around on eBay uh, pretty often. I actually picked this one up in Western Supermare a few weeks ago. But the problem I have with them is they don't stand up very easily uh, because of all their sort of gangly legs they're a little bit prone to falling over obviously originally these would have come uh, with the uh, attack base uh, set uh, and they they were held up on a, on a peg uh, but for the purposes of my display I need to create some sort of stand uh, that th will hold them up and ideally something that will make them hover slightly off the ground so they look like they are uh, sort of floating so uh, let's see what we can do uh, to make a stand for this first up if you look at the bottom of a pro probot you'll see uh, that there's a sort of cross section this is where the playset would originally have fixed into it the playset had a uh, piece of plastic that was like a, a long cross uh, and the probot would sit on it and pressing a button would uh, launch the probot into the air and uh, f make it fall to the ground like uh, Chewie had shot it uh, and this uh, little cross here is essentially the same as the top of a Phillips screwdriver um, so if I slot that in there uh, you can see it sort of fits it quite nicely uh, so my first thought was I've taken a, a length of plastic that I had in my toolbox and I've sort of carefully uh, carved the end to make it look like a cross. Uh, this I've done with just with uh, some small needle uh, files that I have. Uh, and this now fits in quite nicely into the end, uh, as you can see there. And uh, if I stand up that and I'll move my camera, uh, you can see that holds the uh, probe up quite nicely. But it's not ideal um, as it's a solid piece of plastic. So uh, while making this I had a thought that actually I could uh, do a similar thing uh, using some cocktail stirrers. So through the marvel of eBay I've uh, managed to buy a whole load of cocktail stirrers. I paid uh, £1.5p for 10 of these uh, and they're actually far better than I'd imagine they could be. Uh, they are made of a clear plastic uh, which is ideal. Um, it's a fairly thin piece of clear plastic uh, and on one end is a small bobble. Uh, luckily uh, this wasn't planned, this was just pure luck buying off eBay. Uh, the bobble is slightly bigger than the cross hole uh, in the bottom of the probot. So all I need to do now is file this down, uh, make it look more like a Phillips head screwdriver uh, and that should fit nicely into the uh, bottom of the probot. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So here we have the cocktail stick and I have some small uh, needle files. Uh, this one I'm using actually has a square uh, shape to it and this should be ideal for cutting out some um, four notches uh, to make it look like a cross point screwdriver. So uh, the first thing to do is just to start filing one of these and uh, get going. Uh, and there you have it. I've managed to sort of file uh, a nice cross section in the end of that. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and this now fits quite nicely into the bottom of the probot, like so. Um, so that will hold the product probot up quite nicely there uh, and uh, keeps it quite stable. So for the next bit, we need to uh, create a bottom to this. I was initially looking at uh, using some star stands. These are things uh, that you can pick up off uh, eBay or a few other places uh, that uh, hold your Star Wars figures upright. Uh, these are based on an old um, stand design that came with one of the play sets, uh, as you can see here. They're quite small and made of clear plastic. And I was thinking that I could uh, drill a hole in that and, and glue this in place. Uh, but I was chatting to my friend James over at xrobots.co.uk and uh, he suggested that I could try uh, 3D printing um, a base that this uh, cocktail stick could fit into. Uh, so I've uh, designed a couple of uh, different bases in uh, 3D Studio Max. Uh, the first is uh, a simple design made to look a little bit like a sort of mound of snow uh, and uh, 
again with a hole in the middle that the cocktail stick can be placed into uh, and the second base uh, I designed so that it looked like a uh, sort of imperial crate uh, the crate is based on the uh, scanning crew crate from Star Wars uh, and I have an image of a probot from uh, Return of the Jedi standing next to two uh, TIE fighter pilots uh, and he is surrounded by crates so I thought a crate might be uh, quite a good idea so uh, these were all designed in Max as you can see um, I sent these over to James and he has very kindly uh, printed these out for me using his uh, 3D printer um, so let's take a look at uh, how these uh, printed out bases look so here we have the three uh, different bases uh, as supplies by uh, James from uh, xrobots.co.uk. Uh, this first uh, printed out uh, cube crate uh, is just a standard print so you can see that it has a, a fair amount of ridging left on it. Uh, the second one here James has done a process where he uses some acetone to soften the surface. As you can see this actually gives quite a nice sort of uh, shiny finish to it uh, but you still have quite a lot of the detail in place um, so that looks pretty good. And uh, the third one here is the sort of snowy base. Uh, this is a uh, much smaller lower to the ground um, and uh, has a, a sort of whitish colour. Actually the uh, plastic on this is a little bit yellow so I may look at painting this at some point. Uh, but these uh, look like they should do the job perfectly. So if we take one of my cocktail sticks here um, this should fit in the hole uh, that's in the top. I've actually just modified this light hole slightly uh, it printed slightly small but that's always uh, better um, so now this uh, peg fits in there and that looks like it should fit perfectly. So if I pull up my uh, ProBot you can have a see. Uh, the ProBot fits on the top of this. Uh, at the moment uh, I would say that cocktail stick is too long so uh, let's chop that down a bit and um, then uh, I will show you it again. <laughs> Right, so now I've modified the uh, cocktail stick so it's nice and short. Uh, that should fit into the printed base, which it does there. Uh, that looks pretty good. Um, so now let's attach the ProBot to the stand. And there we have it. We have one floating ProBot. Just rearrange my camera. One floating ProBot on a custom 3D printed stand. Uh, that actually looks pretty good because it's going to uh, hover nicely behind my uh, Imperial Army uh, and uh, should make it look a little bit more effective and also stop them from falling over which is the, the problem I've been having. Uh, let's try the cocktail stick in the other base. Uh, so I can just pull that out. I've only done one uh, cocktail stick to the right length at the moment but I will modify some more shortly. So there we have the uh, cocktail stick in the white snow base if you can see that there and that let's drop that on there there we go so again that's a, a pretty effective way of displaying a pro bot it means that they float in the air quite nicely uh, and uh, are not going to fall over all the time so here we have the uh, two final bases with the uh, cocktail stirrers attached as you can see the uh, printed bases work pretty well uh, this one uh, on the left using the crate uh, is going to look quite nice in my uh, sort of uh, imperial army diorama uh, and this one using this sort of snow base uh, will look good uh, in other uh, situations uh, I decided that to do uh, two different type ones because um, I didn't think the crate would actually work as, as well as it has it is a little bit more bulky than the snow one um, but I actually quite like that it's, it means that the uh, figure uh, floats slightly higher up um, but uh, it still looks uh, pretty reasonable. Um, so I'd just like to say uh, thanks again to uh, James at uh, xrobots.co.uk for uh, spending the time to uh, print these out for me. And um, hopefully uh, this will inspire you guys to do a bit more uh, customising and dioramas. So uh, thanks for watching.